Hello, it's Ruby and welcome back to another university vlog. So this is marking my first week back at Exeter and today is my first day of lectures. This video is very kindly sponsored by the University of Exeter and I'm really enjoying my time here. As a university, I would genuinely recommend it. Of course, most people are quite biased in favour of their universities and I'm really no different. I love Exeter, I think it's a great city. It's actually 12 o'clock at the moment. And the reason that I'm vlogging so late is because I was actually at home this morning. That's because over the weekend I went to see a musical, Adrian Mole, which was starring someone we know, and I only just got back. And so now I'm gonna show you from the beginning of the video when I actually started vlogging this morning. breakfast I had this amazing raspberry and rhubarb jam with pecans on toast. I just made a few templates so I made a weekly schedule template and also this reading template so that when I did readings for university I could just write the key information into the template which I made and I also had some pumpkin productivity work to do which is what I was doing here. Then I downloaded some readings which I could do on the train later. And I also had these two kindness journals which I wanted to send to two teachers at school so I just packaged these up and wrote a little message in each. And then I went downstairs to see the dogs and go outside. I just spent some time, you know, being really present in nature and being really aware of the coming season. I'm someone who really loves nature and greenery and all things green and actually that's one of my favourite things about studying at Exeter because it is very green, there are lots of trees. And then I got on the train, so I had two trains, and on the first train I decided to read. And then on the second train I did some readings. These were some which we would have to do after today's lecture, so I just decided to get a head start and get these done. And then I went through my Exeter emails and I emailed my personal tutor and basically asked if I could organise a meeting with her. And then I did some more readings. back to right now in my university room i actually love my university room this year it's a little bit messy because i left in a bit of a rush little bits there that i need to wash up i rinsed it before i left but i didn't actually use washing up liquid and i also need to unpack from my short visit at home as i said i just wanted to tidy up my room as you can see it is a little bit of a state especially the box of rubbish which is sitting on my basket And then I decided to quickly go and do the washing up and also make myself some lunch. I just went through Out of Milk, which is basically an app where you can keep track of all of the 
food that you've got in and I went through the cupboards and I basically just saw what I wanted to buy. So these are the things that I want to pick up when I come back from lectures. I also just did some YouTube admin, I just edited some thumbnails. Now I want to do a quick meal plan before my lecture and put on, of course, some classical music whilst I do so. I keep this ongoing list of recipes I want to try, so I was looking through this to get ideas for what I wanted to put on my meal plan. A meal plan is really, really useful because it means that you don't get too much food in and nothing goes off, especially with fresh produce. I've just been looking through my module pages for each of the modules that I'm doing this year. I also received an email back from my personal tutor literally so quickly, but she replied within like half an hour. So she said that she would meet with me today, but I saw the email too late. So she's not actually free for the rest of the day. So instead I I'm hoping that I'll be able to meet with her tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just basically looking at the module pages to look through the PowerPoints for the first lectures. I'm doing two body and mind modules this year and I keep on forgetting which one's this term and which one's next term. As I said, I was just looking through the module pages here and then I decided to do another reading. <laughs> This is so predictable, I'm just doing loads of readings, but for the subjects I study, there is lots and lots of this. So then I just packed my bag. I was planning on going to the gym afterwards, so I put all of my gym stuff in there as well. And it was raining so much this day. It was actually the first day of autumn, so I had to wear my rain hat. And I initially left without a raincoat, but I got about 10 steps outside and I realized that I needed one. So this is me and my lecture. I didn't film that much because I don't really like to film in lectures. And after my lecture, I decided to go straight to the sports park. So I signed up for my membership. I'm, I've got a pay as you go membership, which is really good if you're not sure how much you're going to be using the gym. And I went on the cross trainer, I went on the treadmill, cycling, and then I went on the mats and rolled out my muscles, did some stretching and also some sit ups and things. Okay, it's now nearly seven o'clock. I was in the gym for just under an hour. I haven't properly exercised in ages, it feels like. I thought I'd also just update you on how my first lecture went. It was really good fun. It was my only theology module of the time and this module was really, really good fun. It was the Encountering the Historical Jesus module and I really love the lecturer for this module. She's really enthusiastic and she refers a lot to things in current discourse and the modern world and why what we're learning is really relevant, particularly in a political sense actually and in terms of marginalised groups. So I love her lecturing style and I'm really excited for this module and to see what it holds. I'm actually now just heading number one to the library to pick up some books for this module and then I'm gonna go to the marketplace and pick up a few bits. As I said, next I went to the library. So I'd made a list in my lecture of books that the lecturer mentioned. And so when I went to the library, I wanted to get these out. So I just searched the catalogue to see where they were and whether they were available. I found the book but in the process I also found another two books which were very random and I also went to the literary criticism section and I chose out two books on literary criticism of Herman Melville because I always love to go to the literature section in the library and 
these are all of the books that I decided to get. I can never leave with just one book from this library. And then I went to the marketplace. The only thing I bought in the marketplace was actually these vegan jammy dodges, which look amazing. And then I went to the co-op to get the other bits. I went to co-op, but they were very, very low stocks on fresh stuff. So I got a few little bits for my dinner tonight, but not really enough for a curry, which is what I was aiming to go for. I wanted to go for a pepper curry, but they had no peppers. So then I decided to make my dinner. I was going to make it into a curry, but it just turned out as a medley of vegetables, which is not a bad thing. It was really, really delicious, and I just had it with some pita bread. And then I did the washing up. I really love to use a hot water bottle every night so after that I just went and filled up my hot water bottle and also a mug with boiling water so I could have some tea. And with my peppermint tea I decided to try one of the vegan jammy dodges which was amazing. The shortbread was just so perfect, so crumbly. Then the next thing I needed to do was just mark these quiz questions from the Harry Potter pub quiz which we had so I offered to take all of these back and basically find the winner so I went through and marked each of the three rounds and again this is because I am part of the Harry Potter Society committee. I'm really enjoying being on the committee so far. And then when I had finished with that, I got into bed and I decided to watch half an episode of Anne with an E before reading. So that was my day in the life at Exeter, my first day of lectures. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you again to the University of Exeter for sponsoring today's video and I hope that you have a productive week.